Hello all. Recently after the new Cyberpunk 1.6 update, few people are having trouble with the radio mod. So, I will try to explain all the small details and hopefully help you install the mod successfully. The install process itself hasn't changed, other than a few things that I will mention later. First, make sure that you are on the 1.6 update. Now, I do have Red Mod installed, which is a new mod tool released by CD Projekt Red. It is not required for the mod, but if you are looking to change the FM icon, or use a radio mod made by other people on Nexus, it can be required. But for most people you won't need it. Still, I recommend you have it installed as it's free and may help with future mods. Now, download the latest Radio EXT and CET mods. Extract them in a folder. Copy the bin folder to your main Cyberpunk folder. You can do this for both the mods. Once you have both mods installed, go to the radios folder. Make a folder with any name. Then copy metadata.json to the new folder you made. Now we will edit this file. I recommend using Notepad+, but you can use the normal Notepad. Make sure to follow what I do right now. First, we give the radio frequency and the name of the radio. Try to keep it short and make sure to give space in between the frequency and name. Then edit the frequency to match with the one you typed earlier. That is everything you need to edit here. Unless you want to change the icon or give custom logo. For that you would need more mods and tools. I don't recommend it for most users, but if you are interested, I will link a video on it. Also, last thing you can change is the volume. Now, we add the music. I will use the same music as before. The format has to be either MP3 or WAV. Keep the file size lower than 10 megabytes. And there are two important things have changed from the last video. First, try to keep the names of the song short and simple. You cannot add any symbols or space. And second, remove the metadata from the files. You can remove the metadata using the properties menu as shown. This is important as having the metadata caused some issues for me.
Now, restart the game and see if that works. And it works. You can add more radios by adding more folders and following the same process. Make sure to follow the steps and see you have all the files. Hope it helps, and see you all soon.